Hi guys, welcome to the Cintronas channel. I'm Matt. And I'm Greg. And today we're going to talk you through the process of unboxing and setting up your Cinch Super Monkey. Now at this stage, you're probably expecting delivery, or you may even have taken delivery of your new bike. In this video, what we're hoping to show you is how to unpackage, set up, and get ready to ride your new bike. Now there's one thing that's worth noting here, that Cinch supply you with all of the relative tools that you need to set up your bike. However, getting in the packaging, you're going to need some tools of your own. I highly recommend using some cable cutters, because these will come in really useful for cutting the thick straps off and any tie wraps which are inside. However, we all know that you might not have cable cutters to hand. So alternatively, you can just use scissors. They want to be decent quality ones, but like we say, the cable cutters are preferable, just because of some of the straps and cable ties that we'll need cutting. Now we know you're excited to get in the box, so without further ado, let's get stuck straight in. So first things first, let's get our side cutters and we'll snip off the straps on the top of the box. So we've cut the straps, now it's time to lift the lid, open up the bike and take it from there. It is easier to do it with two people, just to lift the box off, but you can do it with one if need be. Crack on. So we'll start off, we're going to grab the box at the base, keep one hand firmly on the top at the back and we'll just slowly raise it up. And then when we've reached this point, what we want to do is we want to lift the lid over, making sure we support the bike. And then we will drop the box behind. And now, we're making progress. Our exciting bike's in here. So close, but so far. Okay, so the first stage of the unboxing has been complete. Now we need to get the bike out of the base layer. So what we do here is we put one of our hands on the back of the bike and we use our other hand to support the front and we're just going to lift it straight up out of the base. Now an important step to notice here is when you come around the side you'll see the kickstand on the bike. So if we just pop the kickstand down and then that'll allow you to just prop the bike up when you get to the next stage. Next step is going to be getting rid of the cardboard, but before we do, we want to go inside the box and we want to take out the battery charger and the pedal and tools. Now I know one of the first things you're going to want to do is flat pack all of this uh, cardboard to get rid of it, but I would highly recommend not doing that just yet, because until you've unboxed your bike, you don't know if there's going to be any problems or issues that have happened in transport, so it's always wise to keep the box in one piece, just in the event that you do have to send it back for whatever reason. But for now, we're quite happy to just move this out of the way and carry on unboxing the bike for you. Right, so the exciting part is here. So let's start by taking the cover off. Always the most exciting part of unboxing anything. But we are going to find that underneath this cover, we've got more packaging to protect the bike. Is it exciting, Greg? Oh, yes. And here we have a red rum, all ready to get built up. There's not a lot to do at this point. However, it is worth noting that this particular bike was a previous X demo. So your bike might turn up looking a lot cleaner and newer than this one. So we're going to get all of the uh, bubble wrap off from the seat, which is in place to protect it in transport. And also underneath the bubble wrap, there's the handlebars, which we're going to affix up here shortly. So without further ado, let's get all this cut off. Make sure you take your time with it as well, so we don't end up scratching any of the paint with our scissors. And there's our handlebars, all ready to go straight on. It's probably worth mentioning at this point that if you look at the base of the handlebars, you'll see some little scratches. Now this is perfectly normal, because all of the bikes are fitted together and tested prior to being delivered to you. So when the bike handlebars are inserted up here, it can scratch the paint a little. But you won't see any of that when you fit them yourself. Right, so we want to lift the handlebars up and onto the top of the stems, just so we can get access to the bubble wrap on the frame. This should be a straightforward process. We don't need to tighten them down or in place yet, we're just going to rest them there so they're out of our way. Just like that. 
And then we shall continue and remove the rest of the bubble wrap from the frame of the bike. So I know at this point you're going to be really excited to ride. So what it's worth noting is that the battery could ideally do with being charged overnight. But if you take it off the bike now and give it a little boost for an hour while you finish setting it up, that's going to be better than nothing. So the best way to start is by locating the keys which are hanging just underneath the frame and cutting those off. And the keys are going to fit in the side of the battery. So if you look just down here, we'll plunk the keys in there. And all we have to do is support the bottom of the battery with our hand. Turn the key and we just pull the battery up and that will release it. So with our battery removed, we'll grab our charger and then we'll go plonk it all on charge for an hour. A few moments later. So the battery's been on charge for about an hour now. We can see, we've got a green light on the top. And also when we check the battery, that's displaying as full charge. So what we'll do is we'll get that put back on the bike and then we'll carry on with the build. So that's the battery fitted back on the bike again. We uh, haven't gone too far into the whole removal and charging process because we've got another video on the channel which outlines all of that. So I highly suggest after you've watched this video to check out the battery maintenance and charging process video. So now we're at the stage in the build where we're going to fit the handlebars. And what we need to do here is, if you look at the bottom here, you've got two loose bolts. We want to keep those loose and we're going to push the handlebars down into the forks. It might require a little bit of force. magic and then once we've got to that point we're going to take our allen key which comes supplied in the set four mil. the four mil and we're just going to tighten those bolts all the way up as tight as we can possibly get them and then again we'll repeat that process for the other side and make sure we can get that as tight as possible And that's our handlebars fixed in place, so they're not going to move anywhere now. So with our handlebars complete, it's time to move forward and do the pedals. So in the box you would find your pedals. And the guys at HQ have been kind enough to mark this out for you so you know which pedal's which. So for example, this one is left, so you need to tighten that one anti-clockwise. And the same goes with the other pedal. That one's for your right, so you're going to tighten that one clockwise. And you also get given a really good spanner, which should help you tighten them up as best as they can be. So let's crack straight on when getting the pedals on. Right, so we're going to crack on first with the right-hand side pedal, turning it uh, in a clockwise direction, and use your fingers to get it going. And so then once we've reached a point where it's fairly tight, we'll grab our spanner and we'll just give that a tighten all the way up. And that's it. And that's the right hand side pedal done. We'll snip off the tag and then we'll move on to the pedal on the left side of the bike. So the same thing, exactly the same process on this side of the bike except we're turning it anti-clockwise this time. So again, we'll start the thread off and then we'll tighten it up with our fingers before moving ahead and using the spanner. There we go, that's both pedals fitted nice and tight. Get the tags chopped off and then we're pretty much built up. So I think Greg's getting really excited now because the bike is just about fully built. All we've really got to do is remove the headlight cover which was just in place to keep it protected during transport. And then the bike is complete. There is one built red rum cinch super monkey. I think it looks absolutely awesome. And the red is definitely one of my favorite colors for sure. Jump on it, Greg, let's have a look. That looks awesome. Oh yeah. So there we have it. One built cinch super monkey. How did you find the build process? Easy, so easy to do. 
everything's labelled up, you get all the right tools that you need, and what's it taking us? Half hour? 45 yeah. minutes at the very most? Might just take time. An hour with the batch to charge, but we had a good cup of tea in that time. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I mean, I do obviously own one of these Super Monkeys myself, and I picked it up from Cinch HQ, so I didn't have to build it all up, which is kind of disappointing because I like the whole unboxing. It yeah, adds yeah. a bit more excitement to it. Yeah. Um, but no, everything's labelled up, everything's well protected, um, and yeah, just so ready to have a go on it now. With that in mind, our next video is going to be about the electronics, understanding the bike, and just giving you a bit of a quick start, a quick, a quick start, a quick start guide to a, your first ride on the Super Monkey. Yeah, let's crack on. Awesome. See you Take later. Take care, guys.